In terms of application, I've just got a few things that I want to bring to you that we must seriously consider. First, everything is in the realm of God's control. Your life, my life, whether you are stricken with a disease, whether you are stricken with something that takes mobility away from you, if you are a child of God, everything is in the realm of God's control. Isn't it amazing? Even the very hairs of our head is accounted for by God. He knows us. As the psalmist cried out, you knit me in my mother's womb. He knew something that God knew him from the very inception of his life. Every circumstance coming our way does not take God by surprise. Did you know that? You may be shocked by how things may turn tomorrow. God is not. But if you are his child, you are still in his hands. Or you can let the circumstance make you jump out of his hand. Or you can continue to stand where he has placed you, knowing that he has not forgotten you. Many a times in times of suffering, we turn around and say, God, where are you? You left me. No, he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. But he will use that circumstance for his glory. Remember, God is not interested in how well and prosperous and amazing lives we lead on planet Earth. That's all well and good. He has one purpose to prepare you and me for eternity. And whatever it will take to prepare you and me for eternity, he will do that very thing. He knows our beginning. He also knows our end. So what is there to fear? Jesus said, don't fear the one who can destroy the body, but fear one who can destroy both the body and the soul in hell. And only God can do that. So then lastly, God desires to draw near to us. The question remains, are we desiring to draw near to him despite of the circumstances? There are days when I have a battle with my God. I can't understand the circumstances allowed to come in my life. Because all I can see is today and all I can see is here. And that circumstances passes and down the road I look back at that experience and I said, God, thank you for that circumstance. I did not know what you were doing. Jacob and Moses' mother did not know what she was doing when she tried to save the, the life of her, her little baby, Moses. She didn't even fully comprehend the action she took to make a little basket to put this little baby in that basket. She did not have any idea that one day her little son Moses, drawn out of the water, is going to be the one to take the children of uh, Israel, God's covenant people, out of the land of Egypt. So as parents, how are you displaying your faith for the children to follow? Because you don't know what God is going to do down the road, despite of the circumstances. So we come to God, and we say, God, when your hand falls on us, teach us not to harden our hearts, but help us to turn and look to you. Because in every time God lets his hand fall on, on his people, it's because he's trying to draw our attention from the little things that occupy us to draw our attention to focus on him alone. And I pray God's word will just take root in your heart, in my heart, and God will bless us. Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. In Jesus' name we pray.